what is happening guys and girls in today's video i will be showing you all if an imac with 8 gigabytes of ram performs benchmarking tasks more superior than a imac with 32 gigabytes of ram Now the first test I'll be doing is called Nova Bench. Nova Bench is a piece of software which tests the CPU, the graphics and the RAM performance and gives an individual score on each of these. Now the test you currently see being performed on screen is through an application called Geekbench. Now Geekbench is very similar to Novabench in the sense that it tests the RAM performance, the CPU as well as the graphics performance. On Geekbench you can also test the 32-bit and 64-bit performance of your processor. So right now you're currently seeing me Geekbench perform test. the 64-bit. Now I will perform the same tests, but this time with 32 gigabytes of RAM installed. Just by increasing the RAM, you can already tell that the RAM has made an impact on the performance of the machine. Just like the last test, you are seeing Geekbench being performed with 32 gigabytes of RAM. Again, with the 32-bit and the 64-bit versions. On screen you can see a breakdown of the tests. With Nova Bench there was a subtle increase of approximately 70 points. Now with the increase in RAM, the single core scores for both the 64-bit and 32-bit did not increase but on the other hand the multi-core score for both the 32-bit and 64-bit versions of Geekbench did increase by 250 and over 300 points respectively. Now when I performed Cinebench which tests both the CPU and OpenGL which is a graphical performance benchmark there was a subtle increase in CPU performance along with a increase in graphical performance by 10 frames per second. Now the final test which I performed was a 5 minute render time for a 4k file. This 4k file was running at 30 frames per second. Now with 32 gigabytes of RAM the export time for this file was approximately 30 seconds less than the export which only had 8 gigabytes of RAM. You're probably asking yourself now, after looking at those scores, if it's worth upgrading and increasing the amount of RAM that you have available. Now, the chart displayed does not show much of performance gain with the increase in RAM, but through day-to-day -day uses, you do get a sense of more fluidity and software applications run way smoother. That's been all for this video, guys. If you liked the video, then hit the like button. If you own an iMac and you are thinking about upgrading the RAM, then uh, I hope this video has helped you guys out. Subscribe for more. To watch another one of my videos, click a video playing on the screen. Catch you guys in the next one.